the most amazing book, Stumbling on Happiness, the author talks about the fact that if you really want to be able to go far in life and make a lot of progress and grow, you need to be happy. Now, I think when it comes to teams and culture, we struggle with that as leaders and entrepreneurs because I'm so busy worrying about my happiness. I mean, I want you to be happy too, but I also want you to be productive. I also want you to make money. I also want to be able to put stuff out. How do we balance this idea of not only just my happiness as the leader, but then our team's happiness? I love that. And I love that you talked about happiness and, and the relationship between performance. I mean, so often when we're thinking about teams, we're thinking about performance. Are they shipping? Are they getting it done? Are they hitting the targets? So on. And there, there's a place for that. But it turns out that for many people, belonging is the foundation that allows them to perform well. If you don't have that, they can't show up and do a great job. They don't have the psychological safety. They won't take the shot. They won't feel psychologically safe. They'll get stuck in perfectionism and they just won't do their best work. And so sometimes you have to stop the question being focused on how do I get better results to how do I make people feel more like they belong? Now, to your point, someone can belong, but not necessarily be happy. I come from the military. There are plenty of times in which I was not happy during the middle of an operation, <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, my my commander did also boots, right? <laughs> yeah my my commanding officer also did not care whether I was having a good time right but there was no point in time where I did not feel that I was in the wrong place and that my people did not have my back and that we as a team were going to get through what we're doing so I had belonging happiness was an extra was a perk um, that works well for the military environment. But just really be thinking about for your team and the, and the wonderful humans you work with, what helps them feel that same sense of we are in this together, they have my back, and we can do hard things together. If you want more insider tips on how to get done and what you can do to break free and actually succeed in a system that's stacked against you, click on the link right over there to hear the full conversation I have with the one and only Charlie Gilkey.